Good morning, everybody. Welcome to vlog number 72. But more importantly, this is my three month anniversary. So November 7th, I decided I was gonna get up every day, I was gonna work out, and I was gonna lose some weight. On that day, I weighed 212 pounds and was immensely out of shape. Um, I didn't start the daily vlog till the end of November, but I actually did a like a short clip daily vlog on my Facebook page um, when, from the first day I started. So I'm going to dig up that footage and I'm going to put it in after this so you guys can see um, where I was at then. Uh, accountability, right? I'll tell you what my plan was then and you'll hear it from then and then I'll see if I've uh, accomplished what I set out to do. Anyway, I started looking up some statistics and my glasses are fogging up, I can't even see. I started looking up some statistics and um, in, in those three months, I have ridden and ran and walked um, 559 miles. Uh, I'll do an official weigh-in here in a couple of hours um, to see what I've officially lost, but I'm right around 30 pounds, I know that much. And uh, my goal was actually 37, I wanna get down to 175. So we'll see if I can get that um, by the time we go to Daytona, March 4th, which was my goal was by Daytona. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm just thinking back, I was thinking back the whole ride this morning, and I remember that first week um, all I did was run. I wasn't riding the bike at all yet. Um, that wasn't the plan. My original goal was to be able to run a mile because I wanted to be able to work out while I was on the road. And I was like, I can run anywhere, right? So I'll get in shape enough to run a mile. And you know, then when I'm on the road, I can, I can work out. Whew. So that first week I was um, walking and running a mile. And I remember being so sore. I could barely walk, let alone run. I got up every day and forced myself to do it, but my ankles and my feet were killing me. Um, and, and everybody recommended I go get a nice pair of running shoes. And um, I did, I went and bought running shoes and trust me, that helped immensely. But I, I couldn't run anymore or walk. So I took like two weeks off of running and walking and that's where the bicycle came in. So I decided since I can't run or walk, I'm going to ride the bicycle and uh, still get my workout in. And so I started riding the bicycle and I was riding four and five miles. And then I kind of decided on this route that I run every day and it's like 6.1 miles. So I've been biking 6.1 miles and then um, I run a half a mile every day. Um, and I haven't got to the mile yet. Uh, I just don't have the lung capacity for it yet. And um, I guess that's what, you know, being out of shape and 25 plus years of smoking will do for you. So, um, but I'm way better than I was. And I think I put a time in the very first video, how long it took me to do my first mile. And uh, then you guys have seen my times here, but uh, my best time is in, in nine minutes. Um, and like 45 seconds so that time has definitely improved and then um, my average per mile best time for um, riding the bicycle was actually yesterday morning and uh, it was like four minutes and 20 seconds per mile so um, yeah how cool is that so um, definitely improved uh, lost a lot of weight Everybody says they can see it in my face. So in this video, you'll probably see it in my face as well. But anyway, I'm gonna show that video and uh, I'm gonna go get some coffee because I've earned it. And uh, we'll see you here in a few. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day one of my daily vlog. It's also day one of like a few life-changing things, right? So. I was on the road for like three months, about 25,000 miles this year, and uh, I got fat while I was on the road. Uh, eat out a lot, you just don't eat good. Um, you know, I've read somewhere I read you burn like 200 calories an hour riding a motorcycle. Um, that's BS, because uh, that, that means I rode 10, 12 hours a day. I would have probably lost a lot of weight 
So anyway, um, I'm back after the hurricane. Uh, I've been on a diet for about three weeks, although the cruise ship last week really challenged that diet. So there was about two or three days where I didn't follow the diet exactly. And um, so now I'm back, uh, I'm back on the diet and uh, now I need to exercise. So I have not ran in I don't know, 30 years probably, maybe 35. Um, I used to be a runner back at school. Um, I played lots of sports, but since then I haven't done any of that. So today is day one, run one. Um, I don't know how far I'm gonna make it, but you get nowhere if you don't start. So I'm gonna get started. We'll see you in a few. Alright. Whew. I'm too old for this shit. Ah. Uh, just a quick info. I am 48 years old. I came back from the ride this year, the heaviest I've ever been, about 210 pounds. I'm only 5'8". So I went on a diet right after I got back. Well, like a week after I got back because we were doing the whole hurricane thing and eating out and just eating whatever we could find. So for probably about four weeks now I've been on the diet. I have dropped 13 or 14 pounds, but as you can tell listening to me, I'm way out of shape. And that's gotta change too. So, I get asked a lot about, you know, what we do for a living, which uh, of course is we ride motorcycles for a living, all our social media stuff. So in this, I wanna share that. But I also want to share all the other stuff. Like, you know, we're pretty much motorcycles 24-7. But that's not the only thing we do. We go through all the same stuff everybody goes through. From paying bills, to making money, to managing employees, to getting back in shape. So I'm pretty competitive, even if it's with myself. So... I'll share it with you guys. This is just a starting point for me, day one. But it took me 22 minutes and 18 seconds to go 1.3 mile, nine miles. My average pace is 15.59, so just under 16 minutes a mile. Now, I know that's pathetic, and this was running and walking. I couldn't run the full distance. So, running and walking, my first mile, 1.39 miles. <sighs> Average pace was 15.59, so basically 16 minutes. So, hopefully I can improve on that on the daily. Me being competitive, I don't, if I have to sprint for a little bit, I will to beat that number. Anyway, that's day one morning run. Let's see if I can do this every day. Wish me luck and follow along. Let's go take a shower. Well guys, that's it. The three month journey. You saw the video from this morning. Then you saw the video from November the 7th. Um, could you see a difference at all? I know there's definitely a difference in my overall health and um, my ability to walk and run and ride bicycle longer um, without feeling like I'm gonna die. I remember that very first day, I literally like stopped up the road and my heart was beating so bad, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. That's how badly out of shape I was. So um, pretty crazy from now, from then till now. And um, hopefully I can keep it up. Although um, I'm going to Daytona 
March 4th through like the 10th. And I think I've decided I'm just gonna take that time off. Um, I'm gonna relax, let my body relax. And when I get back, I'll hit it again um, till it's time to leave again. Then we'll decide from there. Anyway, guys, thanks. A lot of you have been through this whole journey with me and I really appreciate you guys being here every day. And uh, we will see you tomorrow.